It's Friday, January 11th, 2013. Hello, I'm Veronique Masterson at the UTEP Library, and here's what you need to know about what's happening at the University of Texas at El Paso. It's going to be an exciting basketball weekend for both men's and women's teams. Each will have its first CUSA home opener. The men will face Marshall Saturday at 7 p.m. The women will face East Carolina on Sunday at 2.05 p.m. Good luck, miners. UTEP faculty and students presented maps and details to the public on potential upcoming projects related to the El Paso Santa Teresa Chihuahua Border Master Plan. They've worked on the plan since April 2012. It prioritizes planned transportation and port of entry projects for the region by using newly developed criteria such as congestion alleviation, economic value, improved accessibility to ports of entry, and community impact. The plan is set to be completed by April 1st. The UTEP Border Region Modeling Project and the El Paso branch of the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas have partnered to sponsor a forum that will address the regional economic outlook for 2013. The 8th Border Economic Forum will cover major issues affecting real estate, banking, health care, automobile sales, transportation infrastructure, municipal water consumption, and regional economic development in the border plex. The forum will take place from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Wednesday, January 6th at UTEP's El Paso Natural Gas Conference Center, located across from right here, the UTEP Library. Tickets for the forum cost $30 per person. In an effort to expand the opportunities for faculty and students, UTEP President Diana Natalicio recently signed a Memorandum of Understanding, or MOU, to create a partnership with the Kazan Federal University in Russia. KFU is considered one of the leading universities in Russia. It's made up of 21 colleges and enrolls about 50,000 students, including 1,200 postgraduate students. Kazan representatives said they hope to tap into UTEP's expertise in many areas to include program development and evaluation, particularly in the field of teacher education. This is the 13th MOU that UTEP has signed with an international university. UTEP's Master of Business Administration program has been ranked 28th among the world's top 35 rising star business schools by FindYourMBA.com, a European-based internet company. This is the first year that UTEP's MBA program has made the list. The company lauded UTEP's MBA program for its international focus, affordability, flexible schedules and class formats, and diversity of students who hail from more than 20 countries. For more information about these and other stories, check out utepnews.com. I'm Veronique Masterson. We'll see you next Friday. Go Miners!